Postpartum depression can turn a joyful time in a family's life into a nightmare. It can leave new mothers feeling depleted and depressed instead of warm and excited. I dug deeper into the impact it has on the mother and the family and what you can do to help. I just couldn't bring myself to get out of bed sometimes, so we would just sit in bed. Um, I couldn't pass her off to my husband. I couldn't pass her off to anyone. Kristen Roth knows the struggle of postpartum depression firsthand. Um, I was just afraid of constantly, constantly afraid of losing her um, or something happening, something bad happening. Experts say it's caused by hormonal changes and usually happens after giving birth. They could be just sad all the time. They can have lack of energy. It can be from a lot of different things. Um, the hormonal changes with having a pregnancy and delivering or even from breastfeeding um, or not breastfeeding. Brenda doesn't just help women dealing with postpartum depression. She experienced it herself. I just had this uh, baby and I should be happy and you just sometimes you're just not. And with it not being talked about, you feel like you're doing something wrong. You're feeling like this is not normal and why am I not feeling like a normal, wonderful you know, new mom. Though moms are the ones most impacted by postpartum depression, friends and family can be affected. Uh, my toddler, I think, feels it the most, but I definitely can tell that my elementary um, kiddo is feeling it as well. I want to be a lot more engaged in what he's doing at school and in homework and things like that. And I just, I don't have that energy, um, unfortunately. Family members need very much to, to recognize that, that when somebody might be diagnosed with postpartum depression, that it's not their fault and it's not their responsibility to fix it, um, but that they have to respect what that person's going through. Both moms and medical professionals agree there is still a stigma surrounding postpartum that needs to end. The stigma behind it was like, if I say that I have postpartum depression, it's, it's like I'm gonna kill my kids and that's not what I was going through. Um, and I was so scared that that that's what was going to be portrayed, so I didn't even want to say anything about how I was feeling. We see about one in seven um, women specifically experience significant depression. Um, and again, if there's no help, that can turn into um, even more uh, severe mental health disorders. So the question is, can it be prevented? There's really nothing you can do differently yeah. to prevent but it's being mindful of um, the signs and symptoms and then if it does happen to try to try to say something to somebody or have somebody watch for those signs and symptoms as well, somebody in the family or a friend. Just get that support built up. Um, that's going to increase your chances of finding any sort of uh, budding depression or any other mental health issue. The sooner you get help, the sooner you can get started on treatment from counseling to medication. I like actually quite literally asked my husband, I'm like, is this what I've been missing for the last few months? Because I was playing with them and they were so, all of my kids were so engaged and they were laughing and I was remembering that they were laughing and actually like, engaging with their laughs. So being on the right medication made a huge impact on my ability to connect and engage with my family. Whether somebody's an experienced parent or, or first time parent, um, you know, that's, uh, that can be pretty overwhelming. So we encourage people to, to speak up, to, uh, to recognize when it's not just tired or not just something stressing, but when a person doesn't feel like themselves. Yay! For Kristen, she wants other moms to know there is hope. I feel like the light is like, far, far at the end of the tunnel, but I do feel like it's no. there. <laughs> if you or someone you know are struggling with postpartum depression, please do not hesitate to reach out and receive help. We do have resources on our website, waow.com, and please remember you are not alone. The Toma VA is addressing Wisconsin veterans' concerns over misdiagnosis of medical cases. It comes after a years-long campaign by a Marine veteran. Brandon Winishek says a doctor misdiagnosed him in 2015 after he suffered traumatic brain injuries from multiple IED blasts while serving in Iraq. He claims Dr. Mary Jo Lanska made the mistake, not just with his case, but several others as well. It's not just traumatic brain injuries. You know, there's there's a whole handful of neurological disorders, um, disabilities that Lansko was misdiagnosing. VA leaders haven't commented on the current status of this doctor. Live from News 9 WAOW, this is News 9's Wake Up Wisconsin. 
Well, good morning and welcome to Wake Up Wisconsin. I'm Brittany Slaughter. And I'm Sadie Fisher. Let's take a look at today's top stories. This morning, we're learning a Wisconsin woman is one of six people killed in a massive pileup in Illinois during a dust storm. We've got new video showing the aftermath of the damage. And if you live in Wausau, your water bill could go up by more than 50%. My city officials say they're in need of some extra funding. Plus, I think there's a lot of um, assumptions made about what's really happening in classrooms. We wouldn't be sitting behind this desk if it wasn't for our teachers. And we've got a live report focusing on the ongoing teacher shortage during Teacher Appreciation Day. News 9 WAOW, we've got you covered. But you know the drill. First, we're going to check in on the weather with Storm Track 9 Chief Meteorologist Justin Lowe. Justin, unfortunately, uh, not the best news for us today. Well, still windy out there. Yeah. Still on the cool side, you know, but we will have a little bit more sun coming our way later this week. Okay. So that's, sun is what we like to hear. Yeah, a yeah. little more sun uh, coming our way. That will be good. Okay. Uh, we see, though, that the wind is still rather strong this morning. We're talking about 30 mile per hour wind gusts in the last hour in Rhinelander, 30 mile per hour wind gusts in Eagle River as well. So you'll hear it, you'll feel it, and there's still some snow occurring in the northern part of the area, the UP of Michigan and far northern Wisconsin. Uh, yeah, up north of Highway 70, there could be some light accumulation yet today. We go to the south here with our Plover camera view, and uh, we see the clouds out there, and it will be mostly cloudy for much of the day, unfortunately. So still not the best spring weather, but it's not terribly chilly as you head out the door this morning. At least it's above freezing. 43 in Stevens Point and in Plover, 37 in Antigo. So a little chilly in a couple of spots and we'll see on your Sparhawk trucking commute forecast that uh, we're talking about green lights here for your morning commute, except in the far north where some of the roads might be a little bit slippery. You know, most conditions are pretty good and same thing for your afternoon commute. Green lights out there to be blustery and temperatures maybe just a couple of degrees warmer than yesterday, but we're really not going to feel the spring like temperatures until we hit uh, tomorrow and late this week. I'll let you know if there are any rain chances coming up as well coming up in a bit. All right, thank you, Justin. New details this morning on the massive 72 vehicle pileup during an Illinois dust storm. We're learning this morning that a Wisconsin woman was one of six people killed in those crashes. She was identified as 88 year old Shirley Harper from Milwaukee County. New video from the scene here shows the extent of the damage. Dozens of others were hurt in this pileup. Forecasters say winds gusted between 35 and 45 miles an hour, creating the blind and conditions that triggered that crash. Breaking overnight, Hollywood writers will begin a strike today after failed contract negotiations Monday. More than 11,000 members of the Writers Guild of America are set to go on strike for the first time since 2007. Writers have been trying to reach a new contract with studios as the industry shifts towards streaming. The strike means production of many TV shows could be stopped immediately and the start of new seasons could be delayed. Back at home and happening today, board members in Stevens Point are set to vote on whether to borrow $180 million for a new justice center. This after Portage County moved forward with plans to build outside of the downtown area, a decision the mayor had reservations about while talking with our radio partner, WSAU. If the downtown site was 165 mm -hmm. and they were voted for the green site because it was supposed to be cheaper, but now they're asking for $180 million for yeah. the green site. The center must be built within Stevens Point city limits because it's the county seat. Officials in Wausau are requesting permission to raise residents' water bills by more than 50%, saying it's needed to keep up with PFAS treatment plants. The new water treatment plant that opened at the beginning of the year came with a hefty price tag. Officials saying the average resident can expect their bill to go up by around $40 a month. We're trying to manage those rates the best that we can. Uh, we understand that it's a struggle every time that we raise rates, um, but we also know that uh, safe, clean drinking water is an absolute necessity for public health and safety. He says the price hike also covers public fire protection costs and hopes homeowners understand once they are given the facts. New on Wake Up, the man convicted of trying to kill an Oshkosh High School liaison officer when he was 16 will spend at least 17 years in prison. Grant Furman, now 20 years old, stabbed the liaison officer with a fork. The officer shot Furman to stop this attack. Furman tearfully addressed the court during his sentencing hearing on Monday, saying he feels horrible and apologized to everyone that he hurt. 
Also new this morning, state officials met Monday to explain how the Wisconsin Statewide Intelligence Center helps protect people both in person and online. The state DOJ says WISC is one of two fusion centers in Wisconsin sharing information about threats between law enforcement and emergency management. Attorney General Josh Call hoping for more state funding. In our upcoming state budget, uh, we have requested additional resources for our Division of Criminal Investigation, resources that could support uh, hiring uh, investigators as well as criminal analysts. The Fusion Centers also contribute information to ongoing federal and national terrorist risk assessments and completes statewide, regional, or site-specific risk assessments. Today is a day to show your teachers how much you appreciate all the hard work that they do. It's National Teacher Appreciation Day. And News 9's Adriana Daniel is live in Stevens Point with how area schools are still battling a teacher shortage. Good morning, Adriana. Good morning. It's estimated by 2024 the U.S. will need over 300,000 teachers to fill the nationwide demand. But area schools in our area are working with their teachers to show they appreciate them. But the shortage is echoed here in Stevens Point as the school district works to hire more educators. They have been highlighting their community as a selling point to new recruits, showing off the area's natural beauty, the unique abilities of the school district, mentor programs, and offering competitive wages to staff members. Everyone can participate in a day or week by sending a thank you note, Or, uh, but, the, but one district official says there are other ways to support long term. Longer term, I think being really educated about what the needs are of public education right now and being supportive of public education. I think there's a lot of um, assumptions made about what's really happening in classrooms. So taking the time to really um, be aware of what those issues are. The district and individual schools are taking some time both today and next week to celebrate their teachers. But now don't worry if you were hoping to do something special for your teacher or someone, an important educator in your life. If you miss today, you can always celebrate next week during Teacher Appreciation Week. In Stevens Point, I'm Adriana Daniel, News 9, WAOW. All right, thanks so much, Adriana. And the weather changes over the past few weeks have affected all of us but it has significantly dampened the spring sports season. News 9 Sports' Keegan Hewitt gives us a look at the people who work hard behind the scenes to make the magic happen. A normal Monday afternoon in May should look like this, but with the regular season already halfway through, instead tarps are over fields and teams are inside. You're in May and we, you can see kids behind me running through the hallways. Nobody wants to be doing that in May. We're, we're done with being inside. Between the consistent cancellations and postponements, athletic directors across central Wisconsin face an all too familiar headache. Unfortunately, this is the norm. But where there's a will, there's a way. You end up having to get really creative with what you do and trying to you know, schedule enough contests and get your teams enough opportunities to play. Creativity that's much needed as adjusting schedules is no easy task with tons of moving parts all constantly shifting for dozens of teams across multiple schools. Not just games, but practices too. You know, with our gym situation here with having varsity baseball, varsity softball, JV baseball, JV softball, middle school baseball, middle school softball, track high school, track middle school, trying to fit them all inside. But getting teams situated is only the first step. So there's a lot of manipulating, trying to get people in the right spots at the right times. The transportation the changes, the officials changes, um, even changing a start time by a half an hour, you have to go through all of the event workers and everything. The nice thing is a lot of people are flexible and we've learned to be flexible about uh, a variety of things and so the weather is just one of them. And while it's hours of work for just an hour or two on the field, the payoff is worth it. Fortunately, the kids are resilient and we do the best that we can. You know, at the end of the day, we as athletic directors try to do our best to try to get our kids opportunities. From Wausau, I'm Keegan Hewitt, News 9 Sports. Well, this morning we're learning Coles has made a $3 million donation to Children's Wisconsin walk-in mental health clinics. The donation was announced Monday morning and it'll help Children's Wisconsin open three more walk-in clinics around the state. Leaders at Children's say kids were experiencing a mental health crisis before the pandemic and the issue has become worse. We saw, you know, isolation really making an impact on our kids. In, in a negative way and they suffered during that period of time where they weren't doing what they would normally typically do. 
Children's Wisconsin says it plans to open one walk-in clinic each year for the next three years. The Craig Yabuki Mental Health Clinic opened last year and has supported more than 1,000 children so far. Well, the time is now 5.09 and hate to break it to you guys, but we're looking at another cool and windy day. But the good news is a warm up is coming and it's going to feel so good. Right. Storm Track 9 Chief Meteorologist Justin Moe will be back with the forecast. Plus, WASA officials came together to decide what to do with the McClellan parking ramp. What they've decided after the break. Wisconsin weather. One minute it's sunny, the next, severe. Always be prepared for what Mother Nature throws your way. Download the StormTrack 9 weather app today. We track storms. This week, the Coronation Countdown is on, and GMA invites you to a front row seat to history. Join Good Morning America for all the royal pageantry, the family, the celebrations, the fashion, and oh yes, the parties on Good Morning America. At Cost Cutters, we got style. Whatever your style, we've got it right here. Save big this month at Cost Cutters. Buy one, get one half off on Paul Mitchell and Matrix Professional products this month. Complete your spring cleanup with help from Menards. Works Outdoor Power Tools have everything you need to maintain your yard. Pick up the 20-volt cordless string trimmer edger and leaf blower combo kit for just $109.99 after rebate. Check out the rest of Works Power Tools and get the job done right. Clean up your yard and save big money. Right now, the Works 40-volt cordless lawnmower is $299.99 after 11% rebate at Menards. Save big money at Menards. WAOW and this local business would like to help you celebrate mom. Share the wine experience with mom at Lil O Winemaker. With over 30 handcrafted wines and a delightful gift shop, you'll find that special Mother's Day gift here at Lil O Winemaker. When will all this snow melt? Enter the correct date and you could win prizes. Enter News 9 Snow Melt Contest online at WAOW.com slash contest or mail your entry in to News 9. News 9 Snow Melt Contest is brought to you by Sheryl Tire and Service. We all need fiber for our digestive health, but less than 10% of us get enough each day. Good thing Metamucil gummies are an easy way to get prebiotic plant-based fiber with the same amount of fiber as two cups of broccoli. Metamucil gummies, the easy way to get your daily fiber. My secret to beating sniff chicks? Secret dry spray. Just spray and stay fresh all day. My turn. <laughs> secret actually fights odor and gets aluminum free. Hours later, still fresh. Secret works. The, the teachers uh, within the Marathon County Special Ed System are second to none. People that this is more than just a job, it's like it's a passion. The most rewarding part is being able to see the spark, the ambition, uh, the change in my students and how far they've come since day one to where they're at now. Being able to teach them the things that they can do and help them feel more confident in their work. The opportunities that we have in the schools, so I would recommend Marathon County Special Ed. Love your career. Cost Cutters will support you in achieving your career goals. With competitive wages, great benefits, and up to a $2,250 sign-on bonus. Stop in or visit CostCutters.com to find your nearest location. You're watching Wake Up Wisconsin on News 9 WAOW with Brittany Slaughter, Sadie Fisher, and Chief Meteorologist Justin Lowe. News 9's Wake Up Wisconsin continues. Welcome back. A lack of public defenders and prosecutors is to blame for slowing down the justice system, system across the Badger State. And experts say pay is a big part of the problem. According to a report from the Wisconsin Policy Forum, newly hired assistant public defenders and district attorneys currently make a starting wage of about $27 per hour. But that represents an increase of only 15% over the past 10 years. Experts say it's leading to high turnover and slowing the progression of cases. I think the reality is just if the pay doesn't, if the pay doesn't improve, we'll continue to see these struggles and, um, and it will continue to affect the criminal justice system for years to come. Governor Tony Evers' budget includes raising the starting pay to $35 an hour. Lawmakers are set to vote on the budget today. And the McClellan parking ramp right across the street from the Dudley Tower in downtown Wausau is set to close. The Capital Improvement and Street Maintenance Committee met yesterday in regards with what to do to the ramp. Members went back and forth on the safety, saying it takes just as much to maintain it as it would to demolish. If we think that people are upset about the fact that we may 
retire the McClellan Street ramp. Imagine how upset they would be if that thing comes down with cars or people in it. I'm very, very nervous about its condition. According to WSAU, they voted to support the closing of the ramp on June 1st, citing the ramp's age because it's nearly 50 years old. Now, your Storm Track 9 weather. Well, April showers are supposed to bring May flowers, but instead, snow falling here. This is in eastern Wisconsin, Appleton. Uh, ended up getting enough snow to coat the ground. A couple of spots around the Fox Cities uh, reported a couple of inches yesterday. So you think the weather was bad here as windy and cold, <laughs> but at least you didn't have snow like there. Oh, and yeah. in far northern parts of our area, some of our viewers are thinking, yeah, we had even yeah. more than that yeah, yesterday. So many snowmen and stuff yesterday. Yeah, yeah that's so right. Funny. Yeah, I got a couple of pictures, you know, people making some snowmen. Here's oh, boy. Oh, no. Dan from Brantwood. He said he hopes this is the last snowman of the season. And here we have another one, a little miniature snowman that was built in Polar over the weekend. Dan, uh, thanks for sending that. That picture in. Yeah, you got to make snow, man, if life gives you snow, right? And what do we see in the Northwoods today? No, mainly north of Highway 70. We will continue to see some snow coming on down through the morning, probably through early afternoon, a winter weather advisory officially in effect until 1 p.m. for uh, Vilas, Iron, and Ashland counties. For Forest County and Florence County, that's only until 7 a.m. this morning. The snow is really going to kind of focus a little bit more uh, to the west here toward Mercer and Manaqua, north of Manaqua and some of these areas north of Highway 70. So once again, you're going to be dealing with a little bit of snow in the far north. But farther south, it will be a dry day. And look at this. Hey, the clouds trying to break up just a little bit, but don't anticipate too much sun for today. Our Marshall Medical Center Western View does show plenty of clouds in the sky. Dry roadways, that's good. And the temperatures really aren't too bad for much of the area right now. 41 in Marshfield, 36 in Antigo, a little bit cooler in the 30s in the Northwoods. But we still do have that very gusty wind up to 20 miles per hour in Medford right now. It will be a gusty wind today. So still one on your sweatshirt and your spring coat. Temperature a little warmer than yesterday, 47. That's still 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. And look at that, 91 uh, we had back in 1959. No 90s on the way, but it will get warmer later this week. Unfortunately, we're still talking about snow. It's May 2nd and we're still talking about snow in the far northern parts of the area here for today. And again, that's mainly north of Highway 70. There's some small accumulations uh, farther south in the area. Yeah, plenty of clouds, uh, but at least it'll be dry out there and it'll be windy and overnight tonight we'll see a little bit of clearing in some spots and tomorrow morning uh, we're talking about a uh, mix of sun and clouds and through the day kind of similar situation uh, mix of sun and clouds, but less wind that will make it seem so much nicer for tomorrow and then going into Thursday we might see a couple of light showers here and there. We got a weak front that's uh, moving through the area produce a couple of clouds, maybe a shower here and there, but nothing major. Same thing on Friday. Some isolated showers are possible. 47 for your high today, so some snow in the far north. Still cold for this time of year with that north to northwest wind. Down to 32 for tonight with some partial clearing and for tomorrow looking for a high of 58 and we should see a little bit more blue sky at times and the wind much less. A northwest wind around 10 miles per hour and then Thursday and Friday uh, it'll be very seasonal in the low to mid 60s, uh, a little breezy on Friday, and you notice the little raindrops there on our seven day outlook. Nothing real heavy there on a Thursday or Friday as it looks like now, and currently it looks pretty decent for Saturday. The odds of rain are pretty low, but it will be breezy for any fishermen out there on the lake, 64, and then getting a little warmer yet for early next week. The draft dust has settled, but it'll take years to settle any debate about giving Brian Gudikins to grade for the Packers' picks in the draft. A feather in his cap or an epic failure? Well, especially when it comes to Lucas Van Ness, we're going to have to wait a few years to find out because he didn't even start in a single game in college, yet was drafted. League historian Joel Bussert believes it's the first time ever that a first-round pick hasn't started a game in college. Well, GM Brian Gudikins. He's not worried. This 13th pick reminds him of the upside he saw in former 12th overall pick Rashawn Gary. Raw, but talented, despite no starts. No, it's unusual, um, but at the same time, he played close to 1,000 snaps the last two years. Iowa's got a very good culture. It's just kind of the way they do things a little bit, but um, I mean, he played uh, the you know, majority of the snaps of anybody on the defensive line. You know, he was a hockey guy growing up. I think he started playing in high school. So I think there's just a lot of uh, growth uh, in his game. You know, I think you grow as a pass rusher when you come into the National Football League. That's going to be it for your sports.
I'm News 9's Melissa Langben. Help us celebrate women for their leadership, vision, and achievement. Join us May 18th at the Hilton Garden Inn in Wausau. Hear their inspirational stories and how they've made an impact throughout their community. News 9 is proud to sponsor Women of Vision. What would you do with $10,000? Listen to Wave 100.5 mornings at 720 to guess the three-digit combination that will open the radio cash vault to put 10 grand in your hand. It's 10 grand a day in May. At Shallows Nursery in Marshfield, we understand what it takes to make your outdoor space beautiful. Our new greenhouse has the best selection of quality plants and perennials. The Garden Center offers the most extraordinary selection of garden decor in central Wisconsin. Imagine enjoying outdoor living at its finest. Our quality, creativity, and decades of experience has earned Shallows Nursery our reputation as the area's landscape company. Shallows Nursery, just off Highway 10 in Marshfield. Shallows Nursery, green and growing since 1965. WAOW is celebrating moms with the Mom and Me Photo Contest. Submit a photo of you and your mother to WAOW.com slash contests for a chance to win up to $250 in prizes from these sponsors, Soul Healing Body Work and Wellness Center, and Devorney Orthodontics. <gasps> it's bacon! Smoky bacon. Meaty bacon. Tasty bacon. Bacon! Oh, I love you. Dogs go bonkers for bacon. And try bacon pizza flavor. Pizza! Okay, I think we're all aware that most cell companies only give you the lowest price when you sign up for multiple lines. Hello? Yeah, uh-huh, one sec. But U.S. Cellular gives you just one line for $29.99, plus they'll give you $200. So you don't have to get more lines than you no, need. No, you hang up. Are you even listening, guy who never looks up from his phone? Oh, not for me, I just say it. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Here at Ultracom, your U.S. Cellular authorized agent, we believe in delivering the best customer service to every customer, every time. Because at Ultracom, it all begins with you. Dove invited women who wanted their damaged hair trimmed. Yes, I need a trim. I just want to be able to cut the damage. We tried Dove instead. So, still need that trim? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm actually shocked. I don't need a haircut. Don't trim daily damage. Stop it with Dove. This delectable ramen noodle recipe will put an end to your drive through dinner rituals. Throw that powder and that tasty combo of delightful carrots and a rich touch of bok choy. Norte's combos. It's not fast food, but it's so good. What would you do with $10,000? Listen to Wave 100.5 mornings at 720 to guess the three-digit combination that will open the radio cash vault to put 10 grand in your hand. It's 10 grand a day in May. Check out Storm Track 9's Justin Lowe in the mornings on Callaway on the Rise with Dave Callaway and Nikki Montgomery on Central Wisconsin's number one hit music station, 95.5 WIFC. <laughs> On our trending news now, and could you imagine finding some old coins, some buried treasure, Ooh, maybe? Ooh, that'd be pretty cool. Interesting. Buried tre treasure discovered in Italy is mm -hmm. one of the few hoards of ancient coins ever found intact. Wow. Yeah. Archaeologists unearthed 175 coins that have been buried in a terracotta pot. Researchers determined they were silver Roman denarii coins dated from around 157 B.C. up to about 82 B.C. They think it most likely belonged to a former soldier from one of Rome's wars. That's really cool. That's really cool. Those coins are in good shape, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they look like I could just pull them out of my wallet right now and just go, <laughs> go to shopping. Walmart. Yeah. They're worth a lot more than that. Oh, though. that's oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, visitors to Independence, Missouri can now sleep in a mid-century modern ranch house inspired by the king himself, Elvis Presley. According to local legend, the king of rock and roll stayed in the home during his 1956 tour. A group of friends filled the home with Elvis memorabilia and have opened it as an Airbnb. That's kind of fun. That's fun. I like the guitar-shaped pool. That's, that's pretty, that's <laughs> that's pretty fancy. fancy. Very neat. Well, forget Oscar and his trash can. Meet the bear in a dumpster. Ew, oh, hello. Look, at there he is. look at that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. A school principal in West Virginia unlocked the bin and got quite a shock when a dumpster diving bear popped out. Yeah, the principal thinks it must have trapped itself after squeezing in for a meal, which is pretty tough to squeeze in That's if it's locked, funny. right? Oh. Yeah, the freed bear made a run for the woods. <laughs> and so did the principal. Yeah, <laughs> they both ran away. Just <laughs> wanted to talk to him about his car's yeah, extended right. warranty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And then there's that one clip of the principal just like heavy breathing when he gets back in frame. It's like, ah! Oh wow. Oh, That's, wow. There it goes. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, well your time is now 524 and coming up, eight men are charged due to several mail thefts after one victim found one of his paychecks washed. The charges that those men are now facing. Plus, it's National Teacher Appreciation Day today and we've got a live report on how area schools are honoring teachers and their hard work right after the break. Morning's GMA first look a chaotic bee attack. My daughter can't get in the car, she's being attacked by bees. The frantic rescue of a mother and her two children attacked by a swarm of bees during a photo shoot. The quick thinking of the mom, she picked up those kiddos, put them in the back of the car. Firefighters responding to the scene in rescue gear, carrying the children to safety in the fire truck, spraying water and foam into the swarm to subdue the bees. Overnight, GMA speaking to Arizona fire officials recounting that harrowing incident. She wasn't concerned with herself. She wasn't concerned with her own injuries. She, of course, wanted to protect her babies, which most moms would. And to have the foresight to pick them up and get them into the car under that much duress is really impressive. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll tell you the one thing you should not do if you encounter a swarm of angry bees. With your GMA First Look, I'm Trevor Alt, ABC News, New York. Even little kids can get big alleys. At Orthopedic Associates of Wausau, Ortho Express, we treat your injuries, regardless of size or age. Stop into our new location on Stewart Avenue today and see a specialist right away at Ortho Express. RVA has helped me learn by giving me more hands-on activities. I can watch his writing develop. He has confidence to ask questions of his teachers if he doesn't understand. He's composing his own schedule which is a lot like what a young adult is gonna need to learn how to do, and he's learning that at 11. My favorite part about being in the RVA is all the amazing clubs. I get on some clubs, and then I realize that there are so many people like me. Mittens, furniture, mittens, appliances, mittens, electronics, mittens, we have it all. Since 1938, we've strived to make buying furniture and appliances as painless as possible. To give you the largest in-stock selection around, we carry all of your favorite top brands. And don't forget, we have a full service department where we service what we sell for all of our customers' needs. Stop in today to give your home a fresh new look at Mittens in Marshfield. Our phones keep us constantly connected. Can you switch to airplane mode? But what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? Introducing Us Mode, a mode that makes our phones less distracting so we can focus on quality time. So the notifications we get are the ones that matter. So we're never distracted from what's most important. Visit US Cellular in-store or online to set up Us Mode for free, even if you're not a customer. US Cellular, built for us. When is the best time to plant a tree? Five years ago, right? When is the second best time to plant a tree? Well, that's today. At Haugam Law Firm, we specialize in estate planning and elder law, help growing families, and give guidance as the need arises for long-term care. We're a resource for the community, here to offer you quality service during times in your life when the extra help means so much. Call us today to learn more. Haugam Law Firm, estate planning and elder law.
When you want to complete your driveway, CustomPavingWI.com. When you want quality blacktop work, CustomPavingWI.com. When you want a company that warranties all their material and workmanship for one full year, CustomPavingWI.com. When you want a company that puts its customers first to meet all their asphalt needs, CustomPavingWI.com. Every driveway makes a statement. What does your driveway say about you? CustomPavingWI.com. Your home isn't complete until your driveway is finished. You may not be in high school anymore, but that doesn't mean you can't play hard. At Orthopedic Associates of Wausau, Ortho Express, we treat your injuries so you can get back in the game. Stop into our new location on Stewart Avenue today and see a specialist right away at Ortho Express. Live from News 9 WAOW, this is News 9's Wake Up Wisconsin. It was a, quite a few checks that really messed up my account. It could be devastating. A victim of an alleged string of mail thefts in Wisconsin is speaking out after one of his checks was chemically altered. The charges the eight suspects are now facing. And a newly proposed bill would allow some minors in the state to serve alcohol in bars and restaurants. Why the bill was introduced and the restrictions it would have. Plus, teachers give us the skills we need to succeed, and today's the day to say thank you. We've got a live report on how area schools are celebrating National Teacher Appreciation Day. News 9 WAOW, we've got you covered. Well, a very good morning to you and a welcome to Wake Up Wisconsin. I'm Brittany Slaughter. And I'm Sadie Fisher. We, of course, will take a look at those stories soon, but first we want to check in with Storm Track 9 Chief Meteorologist Justin Lowe. And Justin, it's blue out there, but not like a sunny blue. It's kind no. of an eerie, cloudy blue. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the way it is right before sunrise. Uh, we are seeing a couple breaks in those clouds, but more clouds than sun in the sky for today. And it will be cool. And we see that with our CoVantage Credit Union view that, yeah, the clouds broke up just a little bit over the last few minutes. And the roads are dry. That's good news. We've still got some snow, though, in the far north. That's where the roads are not dry. No, up in uh, northern Vilas County, up into Iron and Ashland County. You'll see snow through much of the day yet today. Not too much accumulation, but it's enough to give us a couple of slippery roads, most likely, if you're driving north of Eagle River or Highway 51 up towards Mercer. Uh, yeah, you might encounter just a little bit of slippery driving. Temperatures, well, coldest in the north in the 30s, but most areas are starting out in the low 40s, which isn't too bad for this time of year. Problem is, temperatures not going up very far for today, and we have a surprise visit from a cat in the dog walking forecast. Misty was sent in by Kathy. Yeah, pretty little cat there. And the temperatures today remaining in the 40s. Even though it's in the low 40s right now, we'll probably only reach the upper 40s later on this afternoon. If you're hoping for some warmer weather, well, just wait until tomorrow. I'll let you know how much warmer it will get coming up in a bit. All right, thank you, Justin. New on Wake Up, a victim of an alleged six-month-long mail theft ring in Milwaukee is speaking out. Eight men are now charged with robbing postal carriers, stealing mail, and then chemically erasing the penning from the stolen checks so they can be written out to other people and cashed, a process known as washing. One victim sharing part of his altered check. It was a, quite a few checks that really messed up my account. It's sad because it's impacting people's lives, and it's really taking them their credit in the wrong direction because they'll be late on their payments. Five of the suspects have scheduled hearings for armed robbery and attempted armed robbery. Three others face more serious consequences in federal court, which could land them in jail from seven years to life. Back at home, a former Oneida County Sheriff Sergeant is stripped of his position. Stetson Grant faces a three months in jail for one count of stalking. Grant reportedly would repeatedly visit his wife's house after their divorce. Police said he made her feel uncomfortable and wouldn't leave when she told him to. They say Grant pressured her to get back to Together through the visits and hundreds of calls and texts. The victim threatened to call the police with Grant replying, quote, I am the police. New on Wake Up, a proposed bill would allow teens as young as 14 to serve alcohol to customers in Wisconsin. Right now, people who work in bars and restaurants have to be at least 18 years old to serve the drink. The authors of the bill say lowering the age would help alleviate the current labor shortage. Under the bill, the teens would only be allowed to serve alcohol to customers at tables, not sitting at a bar. The Treasury Secretary warns the U.S. could default on its debt as soon as June 1st if Congress doesn't act soon. Janet Yellen says waiting until the last minute can cause damage to business and consumer confidence, as well as higher short-term borrowing costs for taxpayers. President Joe Biden wants to meet with top congressional leaders next week to discuss the debt limit. 
Today is a day to celebrate teachers who go above and beyond to raise the next generation of adults. It's National Teacher Appreciation Day. News 9's Adriana Daniel is live in Stevens Point with how schools in our area are saying thank you. Good morning, Adriana. Good morning, Sadie. It's estimated by 2024, the U.S. will need more than 300,000 more teachers to fill the demand needed in the workforce. But our area school districts are working with their teachers to show they're appreciative of all the hard work they, they do. And that shortage is echoed in Wisconsin. Rapp is the district hiring 60 new professionals just for this school year alone. But they are working hard to continue hiring qualified educators to teach their classrooms. The district superintendent explained the community and the district appreciates its teachers each and every day. But the state legislature needs to step up to truly tackle the ongoing shortage. There's a statewide and a nationwide narrative. Um, both, you know, vilifying those that have chosen public education and then thinking to themselves, well, boy, I don't understand why anybody would, you know, what's going on? How come people won't go into teaching? Broren says the district school is celebrating these teachers throughout National Teacher, Teacher Appreciation Week. Now, if you want to celebrate a teacher in your life, it could be as simple as giving a thank you card. But if you want to do something special and you thought you ran out of time, don't worry. National Teachers Appreciation Week is next week, May 8th through the 12th. Back to you. All right, thanks so much, Adriana. New one, wake up. Spring is usually a time people like to clean their homes, but the Better Business Bureau says it's also a good time for digital spring cleaning. To help protect your digital information, the BBB suggests setting up two-step verification on available platforms, securing your Wi-Fi router, updating your system and software, backing up all of your devices, and finally, clearing out unneeded devices and drives. You can find more tips on the BBB's website. And also this morning, Eau Claire's oldest cemetery could be named a local historical landmark and it could make it onto the National Registry. The Forest Hill Cemetery has been around since the late 1850s and is the site of more than 12,000 burials. City officials say the cemetery has unique roots to romanticism and it was designed with the goal of allowing its occupants to rest with nature. Well, the time is now 536 and another cool and windy day ahead of us, but hopefully it'll warm up soon. Fingers it's crossed. looking like it might. <laughs> Storm Track 9 Chief Meteorologist Justin Lowe will be back with your forecast. Plus, we're learning more about Bull Falls Brewery after it announced it's up for sale. How the Chamber of Commerce is fighting to keep the doors open after the break. Thursday at 10 on News 9. This is what breaks me. Sexual assault survivors. When it very first happened, I felt so torn. News 9 investigates a disturbing reality. Lack of sexual assault nurse examiners. That's a huge piece of the puzzle that can potentially save this person's life in the future. How it impacts victims. There's only so much time that the Zane nurses will be there or you're going to miss your opportunity. What's being done now for those searching for care during their darkest of hours, Thursday at 10 on News 9. The Trading Post in Wisconsin Rapids is Central Wisconsin's premier antique mall consignment and sports shop. We're the store with more. More selection. More items changing daily. More chances to find something unique. Trading Post in Wisconsin Rapids. The store you can get lost in and enjoy it. Would you like to see your nature or weather photos featured during one of our weather forecasts? Email your photo to weather at waow.com and it could be featured during one of our weather casts. Sponsored by Precision Glass and Door. Your style in glass. Winnie's $3 breakfast deal, it's the kind of breakfast that really sticks with you. Tyler, my breakfast. Hey, buddy. Uh. Your choice of breakfast croissant plus seasoned potatoes for just three bucks. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's $3 breakfast deal. Excuse me, is this flooring pet friendly? I don't know. <gasps> but I am. Hi. Oh, you're a pretty girl. Whoops. Boy. For huge savings on pet-friendly floors and real flooring experts, visit Carpet One. Carpet One Floor and Home. Right now at your local Carpet One, you can get help from our flooring experts while saving big and enjoying special financing on beautiful floors for your home. Come see us today. Keep your home's exterior protected with Menard's great selection of exterior paints and stains. Dutch Boy Exterior Stain and Sealer is dirt and scuff resistant to preserve the wood's natural beauty and begins repelling rain in just four hours after application. Pick up a gallon for $31.99 after sale price and rebate. Try Cabot Premium Stains and Finishes for unbeatable quality and protection against weathering for your exterior wood surfaces. Australian Timber Oil is $49.98 plus 11% off. Save big money at Menard. 
Dealing with insurance companies can be scary. Sometimes they act like bullies. But at Habish Habish and Rotier, our specialty is dealing with bullies. Our seasoned trial lawyers have chosen to use their skills to represent individuals, not corporations and insurance companies. From car accidents to nursing home abuse to product liability, we have the reputation to cut bullies down to size. Habish Habish and Rotier, national reputation, hometown service. The Trading Post in Wisconsin Rapids is Central Wisconsin's premier antique mall consignment and sports shop. We're the store with more. More selection. More items changing daily. More chances to find something unique. Trading Post in Wisconsin Rapids. The store you can get lost in and enjoy it. You're watching Wake Up Wisconsin on News 9 WAOW with Brittany Slaughter, Sadie Fisher, and Chief Meteorologist Justin Lowe. News 9's Wake Up Wisconsin continues. Welcome back. We got a follow up for you to Bullfall Brewery's impending sale. According to the Wausau Chamber of Commerce, the brewery is not intending to close. In a social media post Saturday, Bullfall says it does not have the means to continue operations where they currently are. Before a sale is made, officials are asking the community to just be patient. Being in business is really tough. It's not easy. I don't care what business you're in, it's tough. And they have a, a line of challenges in front of them and they're working hard to overcome it. Any scheduled events happening are still on as of now. And Ekman says they have been a fixture of Wausau since they opened in 2007. Federal workers will no longer have to get COVID-19 vaccinations starting next week. The White House saying that requirement has saved lives. Last year, the Supreme Court said the federal government cannot mandate businesses to require vaccination, but can do so for its own employees and certain health care workers. The policy will end on the same day the public health emergency for COVID-19 is set to expire. Clashes erupted within the first half hour of demonstrations during International Workers' Day in France. It's the result of the French president's decision to raise the retirement age from 62 to 64 without a full vote in parliament. The government says the current pension system is simply not affordable without raising the age. And now to the crisis in Sudan. The UN now says the humanitarian situation is reaching a breaking point because there's no food, water, or fuel. As the U.S. sends a, set, a second conflict to evacuate 300 American citizens trapped in the war-torn country. Buses with drones guarding them from above as they make a dangerous 500-mile journey to safety in Saudi Arabia to escape warring military factions. Now, your Storm Track 9 weather. Well, had some tornadoes in Virginia this past weekend. Yeah, drone video shows the trail of destruction. Yeah, the storm did more than $15 million in residential damage. Nine homes were destroyed. 36 had major damage, making them unlivable. And thankfully, no one was hurt or killed. So that's they, that's unbelievable. Yeah. They must have got the warning message, went yeah, to yeah. the basement, you know, and it's yeah. pretty unbelievable seeing yeah. the damage there that wow. no one got hurt. Yeah. Uh, but now things have really settled down around the country. Not much severe weather because it's dry and cold, you know, for most yeah. areas. I mean, we're talking about more snow than anything else. <laughs> yeah, take a look here at our national look at the uh, severe potential for today. Not much, except in West Texas there. A couple of storms could pop up later on this afternoon. Otherwise, we're talking about snow again that we're tracking in the northern part of the area. The UP of Michigan, a lot of snow coming down this morning around Watersmeet, down uh, toward Eagle River, a few flakes as well. So it's mainly north of Highway 70. Where where you could see a bit of accumulation through today. And that's why we do have a winter weather advisory yet in effect for uh, Vilas Iron in Ashland counties through 1 p.m. this afternoon. Some of the, a couple of the roads, a little bit slippery this morning, but the temperatures are mainly above freezing, so that really helps out the advisory farther east here in Forest and Florence County. That ends at 7 a.m. this morning. So uh, we're talking about snow, and what do we see here? Top of Granite Peak still got quite a bit on that base, yet uh, seeing a little bit of uh, grass peak through in a couple of spots spots there, uh, but our Grand Peak camera view also shows the clouds breaking up just a little bit right now, but don't expect a whole lot of sunshine for today. Not a lot of sun to melt that snow, which reminds me today. What is today? 
May 2nd. So this is your last day to get in the snow melt contest. You just go to our website, www.com and the contest page and you'll find uh, where you can enter or you can mail it in. But boy, if you're putting in the going to the post office today, you better make sure it's postmarked today uh, if you want to get it in and mail it to the studio. You don't want to miss out on the uh, big prizes that we have available, including a $250 gift card from Shurl Tire and Service, which is also good at the store. A lot of consolation prizes as well. So think about that. Get your prediction in. Put on your thinking cap if you haven't made a prediction yet. Uh, temperatures a little colder in the North Land Lakes with some snow coming down 33 degrees right now. Still feels and looks like winter in the far north, but farther south it's not too bad. Look at that in the 40s. And we still have that gusty wind though, 15 to 20 miles per hour for much of the area right now. And that will continue today. It's not going to be as bad of wind today as yesterday. So that's one good thing, but the temperature not going up too far for today. Looking for a high of 47. Normal high is 62. We'll get a little closer to that tomorrow. Yeah, it'll feel a lot better out there today, though. Still pretty chilly, although probably reaching the low 50s in Grand Marsh, 47 in Mosinee, that north to northwest wind 20 to 30 miles per hour. So you'll feel it and only 39 in Lake Tomahawk for today. And it's north of Lake Tomahawk up into Vilas County, where we'll probably have more of that scattered snow. And you'll see that here in our future track uh, all the way from Ashland County over toward Vilas County. A little bit of snow yet before it tapers off and we might see a couple breaks of sun at times like we are seeing a little bit this morning and then tomorrow kind of a mix of sun and clouds in the sky and it, it should be a dry day and the key thing is for tomorrow that'll make it seem so much nicer is that we'll have less wind. So that's good news. And as we head into Thursday, got a little front dropping in from the north that might produce a couple of showers here. You see 6 a.m. and midday, uh, you know, a few clouds lingering and maybe an isolated shower or two in the afternoon, but nothing real heavy. And the nice thing is it'll be a lot warmer on Thursday as well. Today, still quite cool, 47. 58 for tomorrow and with the sun breaking out at times and not much wind boy that is going to feel nice and then 64 on thursday friday also maybe an isolated shower and a little breezy and going into the opening of the fishing season here on saturday 64 partly cloudy you know this doesn't seem too bad out there for saturday still a little breezy though with the southeast wind and some showers late sunday into monday and warm enough on monday near 70 degrees that we could have a couple of thunderstorms as well all right, thank you, Justin. Time is now 546 and coming up, newborn babies are a blessing for many families, but many moms end up battling postpartum depression as a result of giving birth. I'll be digging deeper into the issue and the resources available to help. Plus, health experts say skin cancer is the most common cancer in the U.S., but it's also the most preventable. How you can protect yourself after the break. from Jury Duty and Minka Kelly. Plus, Live is Emmy nominated for Outstanding Daytime Talk Series and Talk Series Host. This morning at 9 on WAOW TV 9. Are you having trouble enjoying time with your grandkids because you can't hear and understand them? My name's Dr. Tim Lipple of Hear Care and we're here to help. Pick up the phone, call us, and schedule a no-cost hearing evaluation. Let us help you hear better and enjoy the sounds of life. to dig deep, to do this, and this, and this. That's why every Cliff Bar is purposely crafted with a blend of protein, fat, and carbs. Because the more good you put in, the more great you get out. Why is just a starting line for the true self blooms? Only when we find our purpose. It's a million faces in a mirror and everyone belongs. Find your why for a better us. Home Furniture partners with a number of local charities in our communities. I'm Kyle Johansson, and we're teaming up with the Minnesota Ovarian Cancer Alliance to raise funds for research, heighten awareness, and support women and their families. Make a purchase at home and donate $10 to MOCA and get an extra 10% off sale prices. Together, we can make an impact. Shop for a cause and donate $10 for MOCA. And save an extra 10% off our sale prices. Thank you for supporting a cure by shopping at Home Furniture. 
Today, it seems everyone can be their own service technician thanks to the internet. From servicing their own cars and engines to home remodels and projects, people are trying a little of everything. Here at Maher Water Corporation, we employ nationally certified and factory trained technicians to keep your water treatment systems working to their full lives. We will treat you like our own family. So if you want us to service your equipment, give us a call. But if you're the fix it yourself kind of person, we'll enjoy your funny video clips. Does it seem like people mumble and you can't understand them? My name's Dr. Tim Lipple of Hear Care, and we're here to help. Pick up the phone, call us, and schedule a no-cost hearing evaluation. Let us help you hear better and enjoy the sounds of life. There's a serial killer who's got Angie. We are less than 42 hours. On the shocking season finale. Will. They found another body. Angie? We don't know. Female, Caucasian. Will Trent, the season finale, tonight on ABC. Welcome back. More than 97,000 new melanomas are expected to be diagnosed this year, according to estimates from the American Cancer Society. But there are ways to protect yourself. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither has more on how to keep your skin safe. It's one of the most common cancers in the U.S., but skin cancer is also one of the most preventable. While anyone can get melanoma, some risk factors make it more likely. We think about age as a risk factor, Skin color and hair color, so lighter skin and lighter hair, especially redheads, have an increased risk of melanoma. Dermatologist Allison Larson with MedStar Health says other risk factors include sun exposure, whether it's short-term or long-term, especially when it leads to sunburns. Indoor tanning beds also increase risk, and so can family history and personal health history, as well as medications that suppress the immune system. The best way to lower the risk? Protect your skin from the sun, whether that's through clothing or sunscreen. Larson recommends one that's at least 30 SPF or higher. The brand, the type, honestly, it really doesn't matter as much as someone's willingness to use it and to reapply. Larson says if possible, avoid the sun around midday when it's at its peak and also keep an eye on your skin as early detection is critical and see if there's anything that looks irregular. See if there's anything that catches your eye because it has multiple colors, because it has a border that's shaped in an irregular way, maybe something larger than your other growths. If something does stand out, Larson says that doesn't necessarily mean it's melanoma, but it's a good reason to see your doctor. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Well, definitely some good reminders, especially as we hopefully see the sun. <laughs> Soon. Yes. <laughs> well, your time is now 5.51 and coming up, concerns are being raised about a Wisconsin VA clinic after a veteran's claim of misdiagnosis. But he says it goes far beyond just him. Plus, I'll be digging deeper into the issue of postpartum depression, what it is, and the resources available to help mothers and families. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. They, of course, have never met in person. Ricardo has been stuck in Canada. You go to food banks, but you're feeding his Beverly Hills maid. Yes. What kind of no good son of a bitch will take money from a woman? New Dr. Phil. Today at 3, followed by News 9 at 4. Let the Granite Shop help transform your space with new, beautiful stone and quartz countertops. Come see the uniqueness of granite or the many varieties of our quartz in our indoor showroom. Our reputation is carved in stone every day. The Granite Shop. Unique products, skilled professionals, devoted service. At Bremer & Trollope, we're lawyers working to make things right, not actors hired to make commercials. Accidents happen. Helping you is what we're trained to do. When you rent a Culligan water softener, there is no down payment or maintenance costs. Imagine all you could do with the savings. <laughs> Dive into better water. Contact your local Culligan water dealer. Ring Cycling and Fitness, Central Wisconsin's largest showroom has all your cycling needs. Hundreds of Trek, Electra, and Giant bikes in stock. There's one for every type of cyclist. Go farther faster with pedal assist e-bikes. Stop in for a test ride. Rings has a large selection of bicycle accessories, clothing, skateboards, disc golf supplies, Oakley sunglasses, Crocs, treadmills, ellipticals, inversion tables, and more. Try before you buy. We also offer a complete bike service department. Bring Cycling and Fitness, Wisconsin Rapids. I used to wait to run my dishwasher till it was super full. Now, I dish differently. I run it daily, weekdays, weekends, 
Sometimes after a big snack. You might think that's wasteful, but it's not. Because even half loads use 80% less water than hand washing, saving up to $130 a year on utilities. And with Cascade Platinum Plus, you just scrape, load, done. So next time you're waiting to run it, just run it. Dare to dish differently. At Dog Chow, we believe helping dogs live their best life should be simple. That's why Dog Chow is made with high quality protein and no fillers. Purina Dog Chow. Keep life simple. I'm News 9's Melissa Langben. Help us celebrate women for their leadership, vision, and achievement. Join us May 18th at the Hilton Garden Inn in Wausau. Hear their inspirational stories and how they've made an impact throughout their community. News 9 is proud to sponsor Women of Vision. Let the Granite Shop help transform your space with new, beautiful stone and quartz countertops. Come see the uniqueness of granite or the many varieties of our quartz in our indoor showroom. Our reputation is carved in stone every day. The Granite Shop, unique products, skilled professionals, devoted service. Check out Storm Track 9's Justin Lowe in the mornings with Brian and Chandra on Great Country 101.9 WDEZ. Welcome back. Postpartum depression can turn a joyful time in a family's life into a nightmare. It can leave new mothers feeling depleted and depressed instead of warm and excited. I dug deeper into the impact it has on the mother and the family and what you can do to help. I just couldn't bring myself to get out of bed sometimes, so we would just sit in bed. Um, I couldn't pass her off to my husband. I couldn't pass her off to anyone. Kristen Roth knows the struggle of postpartum depression firsthand. Um, I was just afraid of constantly, constantly afraid of losing her um, or something happening, something bad happening. Experts say it's caused by hormonal changes and usually happens after giving birth. They can be just sad all the time. They can have lack of energy. It can be from a lot of different things. Um, the hormonal changes with having a pregnancy and delivering or even from breastfeeding um, or not breastfeeding. Brenda doesn't just help women dealing with postpartum depression. She experienced it herself. I just had this uh, baby and I should be happy and you just sometimes you're just not. And with it not being talked about, you feel like you're doing something wrong. You're feeling like this is not normal and why am I not feeling like a normal, wonderful you know, new mom. Though moms are the ones most impacted by postpartum depression, friends and family can be affected. Um, my toddler, I think, feels it the most, but I definitely can tell that my elementary um, kiddo is feeling it as well. I want to be a lot more engaged in what he's doing at school and in homework and things like that. And I just, I don't have that energy, um, unfortunately. Family members need very much to, to recognize that, that when somebody might be diagnosed with postpartum depression, that it's not their fault and it's not their responsibility to fix it, um, but that they have to respect what that person's going through. Both moms and medical professionals agree there is still a stigma surrounding postpartum that needs to end. The stigma behind it was like, if I say that I have postpartum depression, it's, it's like I'm gonna kill my kids and that's not what I was going through. Um, and I was so scared that that that's what was going to be portrayed, so I didn't even want to say anything about how I was feeling. We see about one in seven um, women specifically experience significant depression. Um, and again, if there's no help, that can turn into um, even more uh, severe mental health disorders. So the question is, can it be prevented? There's really nothing you can do differently yeah. to prevent it. But it's being mindful of um, the signs and symptoms and then if it does happen, 